guys, for today's video, I wanted to share with you the five things that happened when I started shaving my face. As you might know, I've been shaving my face on and off for about a year now, and I've actually noticed some major differences in my skin. My skin is acne prone, and I've noticed differences in how my skin is acting, in whether or not my hair grows back faster, as well as how makeup actually applies. And I wanted to share my experience with you in case you were ever interested in face shaving, had questions about it, and just to educate the internet to help us all look and feel our absolute best. Let's just start off by saying that I am a hairy wookabee. I get this from my mother. I have vivid memories of growing up and watching her tweeze whiskers out of her chin. And I was like eight years old and she would give me the pair of tweezers and I would try to help her. And lo and behold, I have the same wookabee face. I have white peach fuzz that pretty much covers my entire body, as well as some actual black wiry hairs. So, um, <laughs> yay hormones! The first thing that I noticed when I started shaving my face is that my face face actually feels like cookie dough. There are certain people who like when you touch their face either with your hands or if you put your cheek up against them, their skin is so soft and it feels like pliable cookie dough or butter. Mine never felt that way. Mine always felt like this this hair that you have on your arm or like peach fuzz, like if you were to rub your hand against a peach. And since I started shaving my face, my face actually feels like this cookie dough. It honestly makes my makeup go on so smooth, especially liquid foundation. Sometimes liquid foundation has a tendency to make me look cakey, especially if I apply the wrong type in the wrong way or if I apply too much, especially with my oil production. But I have found that liquid foundation goes on so silky smooth and I finally glow and my face just feels like smooth vegan butter. Like what more could you want? <laughs> now number two, on the negative hand, I found that my facial hairs used to actually help powder stick to my face. And since shaving my face, powder doesn't stick as well. I never realized how much hair actually holds on to powder. When you think about it, this peach fuzz that used to cover my face kind of made like a veil. And when I would apply the powder after the liquid foundation, it would stick to that. Yes, it could make it look cakey, but but it also really hid texture. So severe cystic acne and a lot of scarring was hidden a little bit more by that powder plus face hair. And because I still suffer from scarring, I still have acne scarring, and I still get breakouts every freaking now and again, I had to find a new way to cover some of those acne pimples that I used to rely on my facial hair to help me out with. The way I do that now is by using a filling and smoothing primer. I use foundations and the right texture that really go on baby soft. Then I use concealer and light and dark techniques to kind of minimize any texture. And of course, I can put concealer or powder over the top. The third thing that I noticed is that my selfies look way better. I finally glow. I never realized that when I would take old photos that they kind of had like this, this blur to them. And the reason why is because my facial hairs were actually casting like a literal, almost like a veil on my skin. And it didn't make me look as attractive or as sharp in photos as people that I saw on Instagram or other people on Facebook or just photos in general. And I was always wondering because I mean, I like my face structure, but I was like, how come I don't have these definite lines the way other people do? And how come my skin doesn't glow as much? Like literally, unless I take a bath and a setting spray or a highlighter, my skin doesn't glow. Once I started shaving my face and taking selfies, I was like, holy guacamole. This is it, this is the key. The butter skin plus the lack of this blurry facial hair, all of a sudden my features look sharp and my skin is legitly glowing and it is literally so exciting. Instagram game on point. <laughs> It has made selfies so much easier. The fourth thing is that my hair does not grow back thicker. Whenever I tell anyone that I shave my face, they first look at me funny because I'm a girl. And then second, they ask me if my hair actually grows back faster. And the answer is no. And I wanna show you the science behind that. When we actually look at our skin, our skin has multiple layers and it grows hairs out of those different layers. Those hairs help with sweat, with lubrication, and even with nerve signals to our skin. Now, a lot of people are afraid that if they shave their skin that that hair is gonna grow back faster. But there is no way that shaving the skin stimulates the hair follicle and the papilla at the bottom to actually produce more hair. What's interesting is that hair growth happens in cycles. When you look at your entire skin, you have many hairs growing at different rates. Think of it like a backyard lawn. 
You have a bunch of these little blades of grass or, in your face, hair that are growing at different rates. Now what happens if you shave your face or mow the lawn? It gets really, really trimmed and then they all start growing back at the same rate. So they're not growing back faster, they're not growing back thicker, but they're growing back evenly. And like the lawn, when it grows back evenly, as your facial hairs grow back evenly, you might perceive that as hairs are growing back thicker or growing back faster. The truth is they're growing at the same rate and the same thickness or thinness that they always were. They're just growing back evenly. Sometimes I will admit, like after day two, I'll have a little bit of stubble where I have my most wiry hairs, but you cannot see it and you cannot even really notice it. Also think, when your hair grows naturally, it has kind of like a pointed soft end. When you're shaving it, you're cutting that hair straight across and it has a more blunt edge, which means it will feel a little bit different. But do I actually have like a 12 o'clock shadow? No, I do not. Um, my hair does not grow back thicker, it does not grow back grosser, and actually over time, tweezing your hair, waxing your hair, or even shaving your hair can help diminish it overall. Lastly, I believe that face shaving has been helping with my scars and exfoliations. Exfoliation is very healthy for skin, especially acne prone skin, and it can help diminish scarring. And I still use an exfoliator, but I've really stepped away from the rough ones. Also, the face razor that I happen to use is the Dermaflash, which is an exfoliating facial treatment plus a razor shaver. And when you think about it, men shave their face every single day. It has been well documented in beauty magazines that men have much better skin and usually better healthier levels of exfoliation than women because they are exfoliating every day through the act of shaving. They're washing, they're shaving, they're out the door. I honestly believe that the same thing has happened to me. I've noticed that by using this exfoliation shaving tool, my skin does feel softer, my exfoliation is more effective, and my products actually penetrate deeper. Again, your skin has so many different layers, and the top ones are always coming off naturally, your epidermis. Now, exfoliation helps that process, meaning speeds it up. This can help with acne, and again, this can help with scarring. But also, when you remove that top layer, that's one less layer that product has to get through. So your products, your serums, your face masks, your toners are going to have a much easier time penetrating your skin and actually doing their job because it's not as hard to get through all of those different layers. I certainly think that face shaving, especially with this tool, has really helped my scars and my acne by getting those products in a bit deeper and giving me some healthy exfoliation. So when it comes to face shaving, I know that some people are curious about it. I know that a lot of people have facial hair, some people think it's kind of taboo, but at the same time, if this is something that makes me look good, it makes me feel good, it improves my skin hygiene, and it makes my makeup and my selfies look better, that's something that I'm going to take advantage of. Is face shaving for everybody? Uh, that really depends on the individual, on whether or not you want to. If you do have large raised bumps of acne, you might wanna avoid shaving those areas because shaving over acne could nick the skin, could cut the skin. And again, cutting the skin is not good because you can introduce bacteria and inflammation uh, and you could spread the acne bacteria. So if you do have a certain breakout, be sure to avoid that area. But other than that, would I personally recommend face shaving? From my personal experience, absolutely yes. And I really hope that these five things that I've learned have helped you understand a little bit more about what's good or bad about makeup and about face shaving so that you can make the best decision for yourself. Always remember to be beautiful and let me know if you enjoyed this video. If you have other questions, put them in the comments or if you have ever shaved your face, post your experience in the comments. Let's all talk about what's going on. I cannot wait to read and talk to you. I love you so much and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.